back to our channel. Today we are going to be making a sweet potato casserole. So the casserole that we are going to be making is going to fit in a 13 by 9 pan. And we washed five yams. So we, uh, we poked a fork all, through all of them. And then we, um, so it could cook faster. And then we, um, Roasted it to about one hour to ten minutes, and then we um, we poked a hole with a knife through all of them to see if it was cooked. Four hundred degrees. Yeah, four hundred degrees. You're gonna be needing one large mixing bowl, and you're gonna scoop all of your potatoes into this bowl. One cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and half a cup of white sugar. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one eighth teaspoon of ginger, ground ginger, and one eighth teaspoon of salt, and two beaten eggs, and one stick of butter. You're also going to need one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, and half a cup of half and half. For the toppings, we are going to be using half of this 10 ounce bag, which is mini marshmallows. And for the crumb toppings, we are going to be using one cup of pe chopped pecans, one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of flour, and one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one stick of butter. So this is what the five, yam, five medium yams look like. Now we're gonna mash. Yeah, get in there. Oh my God, it's oh, so it looks fun. Okay. okay, so now I'm gonna mash. Oh. It looks so good. It smells really good. It's like coming through like circle tubes. Circle tubes. Hi, Maddie. Maddie, come here. Where's Maddie, 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 everyone? Maddie, come here. She's Maddie. watching Marcel and Rachel cook. Maddie. Bye. She, she's still there. She wants a treat. Keep mashing. Make sure all your yams are cooled completely before adding all your ingredients. So first, we're going to be adding our one tablespoon of vanilla extract, a half a cup of half and half, and a room temperature stick of butter. So first, I'm gonna be um, doing my butter. Then I'm gonna be adding my half a cup of half and half. Then I'm gonna be adding my one tablespoon of vanilla extract. you get the butter yeah. so now that it's all mixed you can add all of your ingredients besides the toppings so now we're gonna add in our sugar half a cup of white sugar and half a cup of brown sugar our flour our cinnamon make sure you get all of it in there and then you don't use any of the other ingredients our nutmeg, ginger, and our salt. And we're going to add our eggs. Okay, so after you add your eggs, what you're going to do is mix all of it up in your large mixing bowl. It smells really good after you add the cinnamon and everything, so yeah. So now we're gonna, while well, my sister's mixing, we're gonna be doing the crumb toppings. We're gonna be putting it together. So we're gonna be doing the mini marshmallows later. So first, you're gonna be adding your one cup of pecan, chopped pecans, one cup of, of brown sugar, 
half a cup of flour. One tablespoon of cinnamon. And your one stick of butter. Now we're going to be putting the butter in. Make sure your hands are clean because you're going to be using, you're going to be mixing with your hands. So, yeah. What was that? It's so, it's oh, hi, Maddie. Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. She's getting groomed tomorrow. We're yeah, because her hair is like a jungle face. Yeah, she's getting groomed tomorrow. Ah. Oh, my God. So, you always want to make sure you wash your hands with this. For anything. Yeah, because like, like this, I love mushing stuff. So everybody, we um we we put it in the pot. I mean the pan, the thirteen by nine pan, and we leveled it. So you want to make sure that you preheat your oven to three hundred fifty degrees, and it's preheating right now. And yeah. So now we're gonna add our crumb toppings, and then we're gonna bake it for like twenty minutes. And then we're gonna add the marshmallows. The last ten minutes, it's in the oven. Oh, so we have to do it evenly. Puts evenly everywhere. So. It looks so good. <laughs> Hi. Now we're gonna put it in the oven. Make sure your oven is at 350 degrees, and make sure it's on the center of the rack. The center rack. Yeah. So now we're gonna put it in the oven. This is heavy. <laughs> Looks really good. Make sure it's in the middle rack. Oh, thank you. It's been baking for 20 minutes. So now we're gonna evenly put um, the marshmallows on there and then put it back in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna put the marshmallows evenly on the, on it. I love marshmallows by the way. Okay, so this is how it looks after it cools, but make sure it cools completely before you eat it. And so, um, you can make this all year round. It doesn't just have to be on Thanksgiving, and it doesn't have to turn out perfect because it still tastes good. Um, so let's eat, but um, we could, we're gonna try to do the ube macaroons this month, but if not, we're doing it next month. Let's eat. Mmm. Bye. Bye. Thank you.